We beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, we're changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. I'll never forget the day when I when I said, Lord, I'm not quite sure I understand this verse. I'm going to act it out. And I actually went into the bathroom and I looked in the mirror. We beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image. Now, when I go into the bathroom in the morning, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not prepared to inflict what I see on other people. So I start to work on it. Now, I have the kind of hair that decides sometime around 2 or 3 in the morning what it's going to look like for the rest of the day. And um, I get out the brush and I try to work it down. I get these curls into uh, into some sort of shape and I shave and I wash my face. And, you know, it's quite encouraging because as as I do these things, there's a corresponding change in the mirror. It would be very disheartening if the mirror stayed the way it was. Now, you see what's happening here. In normal life, when I go into the bathroom, what happens is the mirror changes to be like me. But that's not what this verse says. We beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, we're changed to be like what's in the mirror. As we set our mind on things above where Christ sits, well, we're changed. We're changed to be like the heavenly as we have borne the image of the earthy. So we shall bear the image of the heavenly. An occupation with Christ, looking at things in heaven, seeing things from God's perspective, changes us to be like the heavenly. It's wonderful, isn't it, how that happens? So, uh, I can say I'm not what I ought to be, but thank God I'm not what I once was. There is something happening in me. The Lord is making uh, changes in me. And the old appetites I had and the old desires are changing. And the Lord is doing a work. As I behold, as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord.